hello, hello. Good morning and good afternoon. We have uh, Master Eric playing. The unexpected Kurtz TV. Don't tell him. <laughs> Low lurking shape. See your uh Looking to make an impact early in the channel. Following for 32 seconds. One message. Making it count here. Got some good stats there, folks. Go Eckerts. Should this be here maybe? I can't really tell. Hey pair of socks. Kurtz, still it hurts, baby. Hello, Bam. Nice win uh, for the boys last night, eh? Just one thing I've learned about the Dallas Stars in the playoffs um, is that regardless of whether or not they get the job done, I would never bet on them. I wouldn't. Can't. They're too unstable. They're the most likely team to give up a goal lead in the entire playoffs and that's just uh not somewhere we can put the dollar dues confidently i figured you might Ooh, Rook G4 hurts. I figured you might enjoy that one, Mattis. Well, we've, uh, we've had some uh, body shots performed on stream, which is a form of, you know, laying down and liquid being consumed, so... Maybe less than you'd think. That's right, Wooly. <laughs> A good memory. Rip golf, man. <laughs> Rip golf. Oh, Eric. Can Master Kurtz make something happen here? Should be more than enough here. Should be able to. Maybe not force uh, an exchange, but. Ooh, I don't know. guess that works. Don't play King D6. Yeah. Nicely done. Queen F2 is what I would do. 
Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Great execution for Master Eric. Love to see it. Kurtz has been playing this, uh, this stuff for a while. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, Bam, to have like multiple teams to cheer for in the playoffs and across sports. No idea what that's like. <laughs> no clue. I also saw that Tim was grinding. Chess bra has just become a bunch of TV episodes smushed together. I think next Friday we will uh, maybe have another fight night card. And uh, per yesterday's discussion, I think one of those uh, matches is going to have to be Wild Hacks and Zoom. <laughs> Two guys that... Just can't see eye to eye. Where's the sign up sheet for Fight Night? There isn't really a sign up sheet so much as natural stream slash community animosity building. Hello, Chelsea Morgana. Hello, Lost Moose. Like the Zoom and uh, Wild Hacks thing kind of came out of nowhere. They matched each other like in the pool. And Wild Hacks got one extra win after being down 2-0. Finally got up to 3-2. And the second he got an extra win on him, immediately he stopped playing. <laughs> uh. So very natural build up for that one. Go oh, Kurtz with a nice tactic. Very nice tactic. No, not tonight, Nova. I'm talking about one week from today. Were you here for Eddie TV, Mattis? I thought that was particularly enjoyable. Kurtz played a bit fast there. Seemed to be seemed to be winning for him. And Eddie was putting people in the dirt on his TV TV episode. Kurtz is a strong player. It's nice to watch Master Eric at work. Thanks a lot there, Grease Goblin94. Welcome back for 17 months.
I saw Aryan this morning. Can officially confirm the lad is back. He's back in the house. Spirits seem to be high. I think we'll get Aryan on stream a little bit later today as well, so. He'll be back to say hi to you as well. Go Kurtz. Yeah, to give you a better idea of the time there, Mattis, and maybe anyone else who would be very interested in knowing this, uh, maybe around 5.30, you know, so in about uh, three and a half-ish hours, yeah. But Bam DZ also for Fight Night, you have to remember, you know, I'm not able to put a card together, you against Tim, even though it would be a, a fair fight. It's not something that's going to sell. <laughs> Bam versus Tim in a boxing ring. Yeah, maybe Bam DZ versus Tim Cannon chess boxing. Bam DZ wins in round one of the chess. Bio's got your number right now. Man, so uh, so crazy to think that Caballo Loco has your number. You've got Tim's number. Hey, you Nimzo Indian. Yes, I'm rocking them. It's the new look here. Really leaning into the old look. Hello, Seth. Congrats on the nice little OTB game, man. Love to see that. AK and Crucify. Tough, uh, take the compliment because uh, normally you'd probably be giving it to the Oilers, but not much to say for them right now. Let's see if they can bounce back tonight. Tough for the boys. Is it possible to turn up the music? Turn it up a little bit. Just a tad. Going for some topical stuff. Sliding night two seven seven five. 
Robert J. Oppenheimer, thanks for the 420 bits. Appreciate it, buddy. Did I miss you? I'm not sure. Never seen that username. So, perhaps you mean you have an alt? Thanks for the bits. Hello, check manner up. How's it going, Kev? Aryan just Aryan and Eric just got back today. So we have the uh, we have the boys here again. Will you be coming out this weekend, Kev? I think Aryan's leaving early next week or something. Maybe we just take this. Maybe even Queen D4, yeah. Didn't realize he was gonna use this rook. Kind of dropped the A pawn there, but it's all right. Let's go here and double. Bishop D4 also looked quite good. I think he wants to take. It's probably what his last move intended. I mean, technically, I'm not really supposed to be afraid of that, so. Yeah, hoping to get checked out this weekend, Tim. My glasses would like to say hello to his glasses. Knight here. <laughs> Just realized he actually lost. Whoa, I didn't realize we were playing with those pieces. No wonder. Hey there, Nick. How you doing, bud? Timmy Two Time, who has been unbanned on uh, Kick, by the way. Let's try this. I think D6 is. Definitely much safer, but something feels right about about this. Oh man. Okay, no, I have queen f6. I was gonna say that's actually a pretty big problem. I think it's always good to hit that. Rook g1's kind of meh. This move's kind of meh. Bishop h3 coming if he castles. He has the two bishops, so pretty nice position. Honestly, he might 
play this move, I can see that. Might just have to forego that, yeah, because obviously Rook, Rook G1 is a killer. But if we could open some lines over here. I feel like I should have played this, but couldn't get past the pawn. Okay, let's hit that. He's got g4. I think he should have started with g4, um, to be honest with you. I, I would like to play c5, but I think he can just take. It goes here. <laughs> Maybe just this. So he's going to go here. We can't stop g4. I just realized a4 takes... It's not even that great for me. Hate doing that move. I'm playing uh, some pretty bad moves here. Kind of misplaying it. Queen and then to a2 was pretty unfortunate. He just played king takes b3. Thanks, Northrop, for the 27 months. Not a win for sure, but should have done a bit better than a draw normally. Not a bad result, though.
didn't quite get that name, Segar, but yes is the answer. Could take with the bishop. takes, then I think I'll take here and take on d4. Wow, <laughs> just saw knight uh, e5 check. We're definitely not playing that well. <laughs> Completely missed that. I'm out of it. Gonna have to be down upon here. What a nasty guy. I realized that he was capable of this, and I stopped myself but filth hoping for the pre-move eh real dirty oh i thought i had this i put my uh, rook on a pretty silly square didn't i <laughs> no we're getting worked here because i i can't even like just sack my knight in a like my rook is also on a terrible square if the rook just went somewhere else, we could just move the knight and doing pretty fine. But now I don't really have a move here. I got nothing. <laughs> I mean, there's literally no moves. The problem is I can't move the knight and like sack it for two pawns because my king ends up here and he just has knight c5 so it's just not even a, not even a discussion. It was a pretty impressive draw, if I do say so myself. 
Seem nice diagonal. He's gonna have to move the king, that's for sure. We can take and take, but I think I'm gonna keep the uh, the piece. He's probably gonna do this. We might go h3, but I think we can go g4 anyway. Doesn't really stop it. Probably go rook g1 and then h4. Maybe this first. Yeah. I think I maybe should play bishop h3. Obviously not castle, because it'll just play queen a7. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I should play the a5 there. He gets queen a7, but I can go bishop c8. He just needs to go there. I have to watch out for queen a7. Seems like no big deal, but it actually is really annoying. Like, let's say the rooks just disappeared and you play queen a7, queen b8, I'd be kind of lost. A Mac since yesterday, my man. Yesterday.
can be six guy. Never really know what to do about this. Knight d5 move. It's a very try hard kind of move, but I just play the same way that I did in the uh, chess boxing. <laughs> it's good enough. Take care of old Lawrence. It's good enough here. If he has to play, yeah, one of these weird moves. E5, takes, takes, knight, d5. I feel like it should be better than it is. Let's just stop these moves. I'm still preparing e5 but it's just that when the usually the bishop's on b7 so e5 makes a bit more sense we can do it now though because now we're threatening e6 and i also want to play bishop e4 Yeah, this is smart to get himself that square. So if you want to do this now, it just goes knight there. Yeah, in the end, my e5 move was not the finest. I know an e3 is kind of bad. Okay. We are definitely worse, but my knight can sit on e3, and I don't think it's that bad. Because this pawn can be defended, and then he doesn't have any squares he can use here. That pawn being a weakness for the bishop, I'm not going to enjoy, though. But yeah, maybe f4, rook d1, king f2, start threatening f5. You can go rook c1, I'll take it.
Nice thing is even if he wins h4, should be in trouble everywhere else. Wow. That's one move too slow. He was definitely going to play rook f4. But uh, he thought I would check him an extra time, which is fair. But the time was low enough that I guess in the end it didn't really affect the outcome, but... <laughs> rook f4 immediately by me was a bit silly. Okay, I'm not sure this move will do anything. And man, these are uh, only a day old, man. By the way. What happens if I take this pawn? Very greedy. I guess we'll just play it and whatever happens, happens. Also, knight takes, I have like knight to d5, which is a much safer approach. Knight d6? I can always take the bishop though. Rook d1, takes, takes, then maybe queen b7, queen d3, okay, well we have to take this, right? He's gonna go here, I'll take, and then I guess it's just like... <laughs> Knight d6, does it work or not? He could just play like slow moves like that. He also has a fine position.
I mean, I think b4, knight d6 is critical. It goes here. Shockingly, it looks less critical. This is also a move, bishop g5, also have like queen a1, queen takes b4. He'll go queen here, no. Now at least this bishop has a square. His position was easier to play because I had to deal with checkmate. Like, I have to worry about getting mated, so my rook can't just go wherever, whereas his pieces could go wherever. It was a bit unfortunate. <clears throat> he snuck a really uh, nasty f5, f6 in. That, that pretty much won him the... Not the end game, but obviously... Not the end game, but the time scramble. That was uh, well timed, that's for sure. Thanks, Bazmania. I appreciate the 10 subs, Baz. Here, there's Bishop e4. Rook b8, I'll probably play h3. Just a, a quiet move. Guys, Maniac, now that the Leafs are out, do you have any, uh, any allegiances? Any hockey allegiances? Ooh, rook c1. Big stakes. Bishop e4. This is not really anything. So we're losing the e-pawn here, but we can take the a-pawn and hope for the best. Also 95. I'll probably go 95. Try to keep control over the c-file for the moment. I still have this.
Knight here, rook d6. Not really seeing anything after that. Okay, it's a very surprising move considering knight c6 is available. But so many moves were available there. It's a very weird move. Aryan uh, Mega Bucks Tari is back. I saw him this morning, Baz. We'll get him on stream in a little bit today. Oh yeah, how did this go? Uh, not that well. Yeah, 5k and a Cayman trip as is not a bad uh, not a bad little week to put together for yourself. I think we're going to see Nike 4 here. Bishop f5, the knight h4 looks pretty strong. Maybe knight c5. I 
think I'm getting outplayed here. Hmm. It's an idea, actually. Is knight f5. Got it done. Bishop A6. You go like this or something. Put knight on d3. On pot glasses, so you can see the maple leaves golfing in Cancun more clearly. Uh, good comment, but unfortunately, a blind man could tell you the exact dates, hotels, and bookings. For the Toronto Maple Leafs annually with just as much accuracy. Sad Leafs are sad. All right, just play one of these moves. Okay. I assume b5. I'm trying to annoy him a little bit. I wanted to play knight here. Maybe he'll go back thinking that nothing's happening. Yeah, it's not a threat now.
NHL and PC. Man, I haven't gamed like NHL in such a long time. Probably since 06. I had all the 06 sports. Got them in one of those packages. Casual Dev, thanks for the 23 months with Prime. Glad the glasses got your reset there. Go Amon and go Luca, says Ralph Wiggum. Thank you, Ralph, and go Dallas. I'm not sure I understand this. He just... <laughs> He forced me into a two connected pawn rook end game. <laughs> Extremely funny. It's pre moving like. I mean. Like, what's, what's Lil Bro doing? Lil Bro's pre moving like I have three seconds or something. You've tilted him, that's what, uh, that's what happened. <laughs> Come on, you have some fans in the Cayman Islands. In the Cayman, really? Yes, yes, you you do. And they wanted to provide some gifts for the Chesra house. Really? Yes. Oh wow. I got bit on the face by the bugs. I got a couple bites. This is really nice. <laughs> I see I, it. Yeah. I got one, I, I got bit everywhere. Like super unlikely. This is very uh very fascinating rack in here. I like it. Newspaper. They were asking where you were, he said next time, but uh Is this a Cayman is this a, a Cayman shop? <laughs> looks pretty hefty, eh? It looks hefty. This is like you know, even the chess bra shot classes. No, no, this Not is, up uh, to looks like Cayman a standard. Double, double <laughs> yeah, from now on, when you guys ask for a shot, this is uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the mega pack. Yeah, the shot class really brings Val like immediate. Yeah, he's been power houring. Uh, <laughs> looks like he uploaded a photo on Bumble or something. He's he's had some energy recently. He's lost some weight. He mentioned down to two thirteen. So he's coming for me. Wow, that's impressive. Sometimes it happens when you're just on the grind, like that. Yeah, you don't have you know? time to eat. Don't, don't have time to eat, literally. Oh, wow, okay, I like this one you the like best so one, far. Yeah. yeah. Like a, an icy shot glass. Palm tree energy. Yep, this is my fave so far. These are from Enfield, a uh, Emanian uh, chess player who uh, definitely uh, wow. enjoys your videos. In fact, one of the players in the tournament, you can... Uh, had a pelican build, and he knew which one because you had already mentioned uh, it before in a little video. So I knew he actually watched. You mean the mention the concept of pelican build? Yes, and <laughs> even a player. Oh. <laughs> so I knew they weren't BSing when they said they were. You know, and thank you to Enfield for the. Uh, Thanks, Enfield. Yeah. These ones just won't fit in our uh, freezer there. No, they won't. Well, they'll get their own private one. They're for Val and... Uh... Oh, wow. These are great. I love these. Nice little uh, matching set here. Yeah. Beautiful. That's very thoughtful. Now they... You know, whenever we meet people, they're like, Oh, yeah, let's do a shot. So I see the, the tactics from the viewers. They're slowly upping the size of the shot glass. Uh, to make it tougher on us as we get older. For you? <laughs> uh, Cayman chickens? Cayman cocks, yes. <laughs> Always nice to uh, receive a cock gift. Yep. Very good, very nice. This feels like, uh, you know, like you went on a trip and came back with goodies, the way all trips usually are. You know, bring little trinkets back. Yep. These are nice. I like these. I, I, shot glasses are always, uh, always solid. Always welcomed. 
Even maybe these are sipping. Did you ever take a shot like this size uh, shot while you were there? Is no. Is this a came in special? No, I don't. I don't think so. We didn't do. We did some shots some places, but there's not really clubs there. There's hardly really the concept. It's like there might be beach bars, but it's mainly bars. It is still a pretty small place. Mm -hmm. So there might have been shots at home, but for the most part, it was like whiskey. Makes sense. Well, yeah, Went exactly. to a, a Older cigar, crowd, so less older. shots and more sipping, like... Yeah, uh, rum. Rum is super popular there because of the, the location, so... Yep. Yep, makes sense. Went to the soup. You said the average age was like... Would you say your age was average or a bit no, older? No, 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 no. Way, way older. Because it's pretty expensive. And, uh, it's not a place you can find... Partners very easily either, so it's usually a little later stage. Mm -hmm. um, it's a place you go and not have a partner. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Bass Maniac, it's a nice place. There, there. Uh, it it just feels a bit like Costa Rica. A lot of Canadians, tons of Canadians, tons of Irish, South Africans, from Australia. Like it's a Commonwealth place. Scots, there's some Scots there. Um, definitely, like, everything, there are some Americans, but it's mainly, it's mainly the other English countries that are all there. Tons of Brits. That, you know. Is the predominant language slash accent, like, UK? Like, is that the accent you notice the most, or is it mainly, like, American? Definitely not American, because it's Canadians or some sort of, you know, like, British Isles. But that's for like the expats. Mm -hmm. There's uh, a lot of Jamaicans working on the island. Yeah. They have a huge Filipino population, which I didn't expect. Filipinos are between 5 and 10% of the population. They work in the service industry. Hmm. Um, but the, it's a British overseas territory, so the English is Yeah, British yeah, British. yeah. Um, and there's like an island accent. Not as strong as Jamaica, but definitely like it's a bit. Close to, I don't know, uh, almost sounds some, like you hear like pate sometimes. I think that, is that what it's called? What's it called? Patois? Patois. Yep. I think patois is what, yeah, uh, pate. Patois. Um, there's some island, there's a few, there's some slangs and stuff. When they go into the slang, it's like harder to. Uh, mm hmm. I feel like that's almost all islands. Yeah. There, so that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, you guys were just in Cayman, right? There's mainly one big island where most people live on. I think there's a second, there's three islands, but most people are on the main one. Didn't go to the others. They're not too far. Yep. You guys had some days there, right? Outside of Aryan's tournament, like before and after. You guys had a few. It's super hot now. Better go in the winter because it's hot as hell there. Um, so yes, but it's, I get, it's like 33, like, right off the bat. Like, it, it's like scorching hot for me. For me, it'd be too much. So pretty much I kind of activated more like 5 p.m. <laughs> After the sun's, like, disappearing a bit. A little that bit. Would be, it's still, that would be it's still very warm, but the sun is, like, scorching for me. It's definitely way better a few months earlier. That makes sense. But uh, it's a really nice island. You'd, go, you'd go back? I'd go back. It's, it's a very low-maintenance kind of trip. Because there's no traffic, everything's close by, and there's so many expats. It's like pretty easy, pretty friendly. If the chess tournament was played there, it'd be like pretty good. You just are close to everything. It takes 45 minutes to go from one side of the island to the other. Yeah, yeah. Like it's like super convenient. Like airport, everything like that. Mm hmm Makes sense. Um, but are there uh, regular tournaments there, or is like this like an annual for, event? No, not not tournaments like this, but they have FIDE events like once every six weeks. I think. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> Canada level. Yeah, they have more more tournaments per capita than Canada. <laughs> <laughs> well, people have free time. There's a lot of people that like maybe are retired or. Chilling a bit, like people have hobbies that you know they'll run or golf or pick 
pickleball is really big there. So yeah, I bet people people like to find social activities. There once were two chess bra mates whose blitz games thrilled the greats. Eric with tactical flair beat Magnus Carlsen fair while Amon boxed and checked all their fates. Wow. A thousand bits for this beautiful, beautiful poem here. Thank you, Robert. Reminds me of Eddie. Although this is a brand new account. Following since yesterday. Yeah, he said, uh, V remember me. Did a different uh, username or, or slightly modified. Is that Joe? Wow. Joe, oh, Joe. 010. Thank you, Robert. Uh, not at the moment, radio. Radio Norbert. Hello, Johnny. Hey, Kurtz. I really appreciated your viewership throughout the, the, the last few days during the Cayman trip. Kurtz claims that his viewership was the same. Oh, he, he says he likes watching me play Counter-Strike. Like he's been watching me play Counter-Strike and he doesn't talk. He said mm -hmm. he like, enjoys CS streams. Like, mm -hmm. like, 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 Kurtz watch it. Like, I'll just have it on in the background, you know, and I, and I, I used to have some variety. Like, it sounds like he's yanking on my cords. But yeah, yeah, that's what he's been saying. He just doesn't chat as much. Yep. There's the different cycles of uh, viewership. That's right. We look like the IT guys at your job. One clean-cut guy with glasses and a larger fellow you're, with a you're video game t-shirt. That's Dan, though. I, I don't think... Really? Okay. Okay. Yeah, once you get into those... Archetypes, like, because there really is. <laughs> then I really <laughs> a larger fellow. Yeah, then it's more like Pink Floyd T-shirts, like Ramstein band T-shirts, reminiscent of Kurtz himself. Oh, Lali, are you preparing a house for Budapest, like a um, house party in September during the Olympiad? You missed the yacht show, Below Deck. For the right, uh, for, for, for subs, I, we can watch Below Deck. It's an okay show. They, they had some high points. Um, I'm open the way of other seasons to watch. It depends um, which, uh, like, which location, right? They have yeah. multiple. Actually, our host knew a couple that went on the show, which doesn't surprise me. That's definitely a demographic, like retirees, like, yeah. With, uh, so they, they said, yeah, they didn't do much. They're pretty boring, which is most guests, but uh, yeah. When is Budapest? We'll see Lolly there. Eh? That's going to be fun. Go oh, Lolly. Um, September, uh, I don't know when I'll be there, but the Olympiads are like September 10th to 24th, something like that. Yeah. Uh, that comment, um, yeah. Okay. I'm on with spectacles. Uh, tickles you a little bit there, Kurtz. He could, could look like a really clean cut, like uh, Anderson Cooper type or, or something. You're getting that vibe? <laughs> like a really well, like... You're more tickled by this? I'm just wearing this around the house, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't even know how to drift in Mario Kart, yes. so I'm not even, I'm not a yes. Mario Kart, I don't know a how to drift. Gay, yes. A house gay, yes. yes. <laughs> Mario does nothing for me, I'm, I'm a FPS guy. Uh, 
Uh, I shared this story. Maya was the only one that's purchased the Mario shirt for me before. <laughs> I've shared the story of that. The shirt might be somewhere in the house. But he bought me a very inappropriate t-shirt when I was 17 as a gift. Uh, that I told him I couldn't wear it. And I'd shared the story on stream before. I couldn't wear it in North America or most of the world. And he thought it was hilarious. Come on, I mean, it's just like, I think you've seen the shirt. It's just yeah, like, it's a it's, great shirt. It's, <laughs> it's <Yeah. laughs> cancelable shirt. Yes, it, it's a shirt that would get me, can yeah, yeah. It would um, get a lot of people off in arms. It's Princess Peach and two male characters. <laughs> and I don't even know how that shirt was made, but in Serbia, probably anything happened. That's right, Tim. Eric's a, a humble Mario Kart player. I wasn't... Silent uh, but deadly. No, no, I'm just... I'm just uh, I wasn't pretty good. I'm not a good driver. I'd love to say I'm a good driver. I can't claim that yet. Had it for a while, Johnny. Yes, the two tech chads are here, the Austin uh, guys, Joe and Mattered Monkey. Two full stack devs. But it's two full stack. Two sprinters. Yeah, sprinters. <laughs> yep. Kurtz was playing earlier today. I saw, I saw. I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to take away from the Kurtz show. Always nice to watch Master Eric at work. <laughs> Mustard stain. No idea what Dice Chess is, to be honest. I like this guy's username always. Like, like Chess Fat Bear is just a very endearing term. I feel like all <laughs> Ch oh, Ch Chinese all have names like yeah, that. Yeah, because that's what I mean. Like, people, like, it's the cultural thing. Like, different cultures, like, use words differently. In North America, people are very sensitive around the word fat. But in Spanish... It's a sign of wealth in, in China... China right? It's it's not a yeah it's, especially for guys it's not a for for girls you definitely uh, def, definitely get made fun of probably but for guys uh, they use uh, yeah fat endearingly in lots of languages they do a little bit you know gordito mm -hmm. so the the guy with the username is definitely not even chubby from what I remember right but it's just uh, yeah a fat bear panda you know panda mm -hmm. or something. that's right. El Gordito, yes. I don't know what dice chess is, Robert. El Gordito. That's true, Realty. The last, like, obscure variant, which, which was pretty much invented, we did quite well with. I can't even remember what it was called, but something about all kings on the board. Yeah, like all, all kings. I don't know about dice chess, I guess. You can roll a dice to determine which piece you move, but then it's just all luck based. Yeah, it was like normal pieces versus all kings. And only one king is the king that can be mated. roll three dice and you have to move those pieces like one for the piece one for the 
number and one for the letter. Or like three pieces and then you pick from them. How did the race go? Uh, oh, I suffered. No comment, Johnny. No comment. <laughs> Respond on Strava. No, no, no comment. What, is, what does that mean? Is there a chat, yes, chat room on did. Strava or I, something? My time was even over eight minutes. <clears throat> I, I sunk our team. That's what an anchor is supposed to do, you know? <laughs> Sink bro. No, but it's like super hot and I'm not running, I'm not in shape. <clears throat> People were posting 440s, 540s. <laughs> Our team average. Wait, 440 is crazy. Yeah, but just like, on that island, you can run year round. So there's so many people with nothing. Like, it's yeah, a, it's a, it's a people, prison. <laughs> people are good at running on the island for a small population. <laughs> because it, it, it does, it is, it is one of the big hobbies there. So they had a race recently, a marathon. And I think they had like 4,000 participants. And this is an island of 80,000. Just imagine, like, that amount of people. Like, that's a crazy ratio that one every 20 people is, like, yeah. running. Like, maybe not all fast, but that it's one of the things to do when you're on a, like... Mm -hmm. um, it was 28 degrees, and I'm out of shape. I'd say... In the sun, also makes it harder. Oh, thank you, Johnny. I think I was closer to eight three, but friendly, friendly Johnny, always encouraging. If it was at night, my time would have been a lot better. Been, uh, I believe that. I'd shave like 20 seconds. Did you see Wild Hacks and Zoom? No. <laughs> <clears throat> Wild Hacks and Zoom just matched each other like normally in the in the pool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they played like two games and Zoom won both of them and they kept playing after that and Sam got to three two, so just more than him and then said, Oh, gotta go gym and like stopped playing. And then immediately came into chat and said like Oh, like I just beat Zoom in a match. Um, you know, people said like, "Oh, that I couldn't beat Zoom." Yeah, I just beat Zoom in a match. And then Zoom was like mega tilt. He's like, "We didn't agree to five games, you idiot!" Like, could have stopped after two. Like, yeah. you got to go to the gym all of a sudden. <laughs> You're in here like chatting. Sam's loving it. Like, yeah, got Zoom really tilted. <laughs> That's very good instigator <laughs> behavior. Yes, heel behavior. <laughs> So we're at a bar they're called mango tree mainly the jamaicans go there it's like got a very island vibe um it's one of the big places there a bit outdoorsy it's called mango tree it's very like open yeah open concept it's not enclosed and you know you see a lot of funny pairings on the islands you know you see the bellies the colonials the dancers whatever and there's like a really big Kind of like Puerto Rican looking guy, like really fat, uh, with a shaved head, and he's very comfortable talking to all the ladies, especially all the, <clears throat> all the ladies, you know, <laughs> especially the, 
the Jamaicans. Mm-hmm. And Mike asks me like later that night, you know, uh, Eric, I was really thinking, do you think, do you think that was Fat Joe? That was that was there the whole time. Like he's just discreetly on the island. Like, <laughs> like, you know that guy. That guy was like, I think that was Fat Joe. Like, like you know, it would make some sense. And he's pretty serious. <clears throat> yeah. And Mike's like, he's been thinking about this for a long time. Like conceptualizing that Fat, 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 fat Joe. Joe's just randomly at this like small island bar, <laughs> hitting up all the ladies with like. <clears throat> Sorry, it's crazy. I lost my allergies when I got there, and now I have their back. And I was like, nope, no, there's just a lot of bellies here and a lot of uh, com- com- comfortable islanders. But he really was, like, <laughs> thinking about this for a long time. And, like, maybe we went there and we met Fat Joe, you know. Yeah, that, that could have <laughs> been him. And I'm just like, where did that come from? Like, but he really, Mike, like, Mike thinks about it before he vocalizes it. Yeah, yeah, I'm like. He's really made no, a case that, for it. that's just, like, a chubby Puerto Rican. There's a, there's a lot of them, and. They're comfortable with the ladies. That doesn't mean it's Fat Joe. <laughs> but Fat Joe's a name I haven't heard in a while. Like, that Fat Joe was right beside our table. Chilling. So yeah, celebrities sometimes come here incognito. Oh, yeah, we're going to see a queen sack. Oh, never mind. Yep. Yeah, we still, still will. Works. Yeah. Uh, that's correct, Baz. Oh, Mike had reminded me he puked in Iceland when he took snooze, and he got snooze from Armin. <laughs> Thanks for the four years. When does that take us back? May 2020. The dawn of COVID. So, Armin. Armin. A woman from Iceland. <laughs> Thanks there, uh, Mr. Local Hero. Pretty cool nickname. Local Hero. Especially, like, how he got it. Yeah, there's a real story behind it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think Armin was like, I can't even remember, 1,200 or something like that. He beat like a 2,100. Yes, with Queen D1. Yeah. Wait. 2,100 German. Beat him in like 10 moves. Yeah. Less than 10 moves. Pretty much never happens. Thanks to... That's right, Ralph. That's the correct... Response. Which one is that? Blood Trail. Yes. The Chesscom Poland Raid. Hello and welcome. Well, I'll leave you to it. Just want to share the shots and uh, say hi. I'll be around. That's nice. Thoughtful. Thoughtful. I would definitely go to the Cayman Islands. I think you'd like it. The food was pretty safe and, uh, yeah, low maintenance. Trip. Just have to go uh, when it's colder. Yes. Tim, you going to give me a Pacers win today, bud? I couldn't believe the, the favor they're being given by the books. I agree with that. I like, agree. I'm... Uh, I don't know. But it's your 2-0 logic, right? Yeah. And at home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just, like, wouldn't think that that's enough to... Like, seven points today. Uh, Brunson's playing. Otherwise, uh, must be playing. I mean, Brunson's not playing. Like, going around. Yeah. I think he is. But I'm sure he is. It's just the, like, the logic that if they lose this game, then the series is over. Yeah. And, like, that's just not supposed to happen. But it's, it's strange because the Pacers were underdogs. Yep. But now they're heavy, heavy favorites down 2 0. 
And in hockey, you have Carolina, who is basically even money with the Rangers. And they're down 2-0. And at home, they were, like, barely the favorites. Like, no, nowhere close to Indiana. And the same thing happened in that. I just don't... It's like, they weigh it a lot. Like, the basketball crowd, or I don't know. Something I don't understand. The Mavericks were up yesterday, even in the second half. And they were even money or underdogs to Oklahoma. So when the Mavericks were down two points in the third, it was already plus 168 Mavs. So I hammered that. But when they were that, up by six earlier, I just, like, they still weren't even favorites. Yeah, but at least the pregame odds were that. It yeah. was, like, plus 165 or something. Yeah. Hmm. That's true what Tim is saying. The Knicks have a really s- small rotation. Yeah, they got guys playing, like, every minute. Yeah, Josh Hart plays every minute. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Finn Laymore. 45 months. Cheers, Finn. Yeah, the Timberwolves are another... Uh... <laughs> Timberwolves are super scary. When Rudy Gobert is, like, checking his baby and not playing... But, you know, I told, I told you beats in the NBA draft this year. I told him to pick Nas Reed. And he did, but it was like 14th round. But I said the guy's like really good. He always good. does, yeah. And if, if Rudy doesn't play, he'll put up like 60 fantasy points for you. He always so does. So he's like, I don't know who Nasri is. I just, the guy's like, so, somehow he's like super strong, like as a backup. And yeah. Well, uh, hey, Fugi. Hello, Richard. Oh, the Portuguese raid as well. Thank you. Chess.com Portugal. Yeah, because Gobert didn't even, like, put that many fantasy points. Like, he looked like a fantasy dud all season. Yeah. yeah. But I guess, yeah, has a, you know, what the pundits like to call real game impact. Yes. Not He's measurable by stats. He's a deep boy. Maybe keep the newspapers. <laughs> Maverick Villain says, when are we going to kick? He is a kick enjoyer. Hey, Chris. You dig the glasses? Thanks, man. Ah, yeah. Chess.com. Portuguese. That's right. I guess they go by uh, language, not country. Maverick, uh, you know, what if I took you there in an hour? You know, just me personally, I walked you over. Thanks, Foogie Boogie, for the Tier 3, 38 months. Got to root for the Villanova boys on the Knicks, but agree, probably a tough game tonight. Yeah, I'd, I just feel like the odds on the Knicks are crazy good. I saw more than minus 300 on the Pacers, I was like, can this really be a thing? Especially because the last time that I saw these kind of odds, the Pacers did not deliver. But there's uh, two teams, the Pacers and the Dallas Stars. I could never bet money on anymore. Those are they're too volatile. Like They could have a lead and you know that it could just disappear in a heartbeat. Hmm, I guess that's factored in, Tim. But, I don't know, when the Leafs played, Matthews was out, and the line hardly changed. They changed a bit, but not that much. And then the Leafs won their games when he was out. <laughs> I think the Knicks are selling the game, you know? They've got a tired squad. They're just going to sell this game and go for the next one. Got guys like Josh Hart, uh, you know, a little tired.
interesting. I'm like Tim. I abort against 1H4. I don't have any uh, chessable courses against this. So we just avoid it. Keep it simple. He does need a rest. Bulletproof playing bullet. So this one, I, it's always so tricky to remember. I'm just going to do this. Is there no answer? <laughs> Damn. I needed the I needed him to like sack the queen on g6 and go king h8. Now we only like kind of got cooked. In fact, I'm I'm even gonna pause and just look at it. It's so worth it. I've looked at it before, but I never remember it when I need to. So this position is still remotely tricky after this. It takes a very specific series of moves. So d6, and then if they save the rook, which is the most likely. Okay, saying c6. I suppose I could also do this. But then the point is not to win the exchange anymore. Probably be just to like retreat. Which I guess is fine. Um c6 though. So there's actually no available squares. Okay, I guess it's this. Yeah, it's d6. I gotta start playing d6. For some reason, like, this move has been played a million times against me, and I have a terrible score against it. Because it's like, I've already won all the material, but they get a bunch of it back there. So, uh... <laughs> Not remembering or knowing what to do, it has been killing me. And it's one of those things that years have gone by. All the rating points from those games, if you add it up, maybe I'm a 3k. Maybe that's 200 elo points.
not really able to predict this guy's random c4 move and just hung his pawn, but that's all right. This is the one where you win the e pawn, but even then it doesn't feel great. Maybe queen e8 to g6. You can also save the pawn if needed. Play King H8. Rook F1 is a funny move. Okay. But now Queen G6. The Knight doesn't have F4, so now the Knight's really bad. And Knight G5, we always have Bishop C8. Okay, so h6 here. We're just winning. Just trade the queens, and then... Even if we're not up a pawn, I select my position, but we are up a pawn. I'll probably go here, just to keep the bishop. This knight is just so bad. The knight's terrible. Go here. Um, just play this move. Looks useful. So we can get around and start attacking some pawns here. Now h4 he'll have to take. Yeah, this should be enough. And this pawn will go all the way.
He's gonna get ideas about sacking now, so. No, let's go here. Just wanna go after that pawn. Undefeated against the Scandi is your favorite now. I mean, and you get to do it with an extra A3 move, right? So why the hell not? Hey, Fando. Yonka Mayanka GG. What a name. His username is Chess Blitz. We're playing Bullet. He may be out of his depth. Hmm. I think I'm going to go here because. Um, scurred. Threatening that. Honestly, you might miss it. Um, rook c2, there's rook d1. Okay. Rook is hanging here. It's kind of a funny way to do it, but... <laughs> I guess. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Definitely not worth it for him, but... Go here, I think I want to put that knight on f5, but it's a little artificial because it doesn't actually threaten anything. Yeah, if he plays that though, he's cooked. Oh no, that can't be played. No way, no way. Here, here. Yeah, let's just take this pawn. There's no way he can defend it. A6, save the bishop. Let's trade the dark square bishops. Okay, I've got a knight against bishop position. Let's get rid of this. Try this. Wage four. Can't actually take that. No, I'd like to. 
Oh, maybe he'll think we blunder? Damn it. He didn't bite. He can't catch my beep on. It's still a great move, <laughs> so I'm not unhappy. I realize my knight's actually doing something there. If he takes with the rook. Hmm. Yeah, not too impressive there. Okay. He thinks that we've just stumbled into this position, but no. This is exactly what we've been building for. Do we take? Why does that look so annoying? Let's play loose. Man. Can't even take that to be honest. I'm just gonna go here. Play f3. And we have opposite bishops here, so actually not a bad shot. I'll take as much material as I can and I'll even trade the rook here. Uh, I should have cleaned that pawn, but it was so far away on the board, <laughs> like, distance-wise. It's hard to switch from side to side. Um, okay, let's... Weird that he didn't stop me. Jesus, just barely. Bare I was gonna say barely not getting mated and then he played that. Hmm, you don't like this very much. It would be good for us if he did that. Yeah, it's just an easy position to play. We have a pawn, it's protected.
Super uncomfortable. Borderline lost. Uh, G seven. I think we can take. Let's just take Queen D four. Oh, that was a really bad move, I think. Okay, we'll survive here. Oof, that was a good one, though. Will we survive? I guess this. I don't think we actually will survive. It's pretty well played, not gonna lie. The coordination was unreal there, but when I said borderline lost, of course, what I what I mean is lost if he plays the correct moves. The borderline is because uh, he might not find them, not because it's maybe not losing. But he really found a uh, very smart continuation. I didn't even think he played the best line either, and it, it was still enough to win. Okay, let's hit that. Knight d8. Should have taken an h7 there. I don't know what we're doing. Ah, uh, take on f5. That's what the position needs. Can't take it. I feel like if you're up on time against someone, that's the correct way to win. Hmm. 
this move is kind of screaming. Yeah, I'm not really able to prevent it. Let's just do this though. Should be okay. He just doesn't have any time. He has to pre-move. We know it. Okay. <laughs> great stuff, great stuff. Ooh, that was nasty. Kind of snuck that bias there. Okay. Knight f6 is close to unstoppable. King f8 mate. Decides to go here. Rook d5 is a lights out move. I just wanted to play queen f6 so he didn't have f5. Greedy move. Don't think that works. He's a thousand percent not taking that. 
Let's take more pawns. Bishop makes everything pretty safe here. These rooks need some access into the position. He doesn't really have anything to do. Like, his pieces are just kind of sitting there. Is knight f6, but oh, <laughs> a little bit lucky there. I should have moved the king to f8. Don't I play this guy all the time, realty? He's no stranger. Yeah, I have a ton of bullet games against him. Thank you, Spencer. 40 months. Cheers, buddy. Ooh. I don't think I can keep this beautiful bishop. So sad for me. Thanks for the 40. Zon Jones. Double the rooks on the H file. Now this uh, bishop's even open. Very annoying. Ugh. Incredible. The knight on d3, I suppose. Okay. Oh, it wow, blanked on that. This move. Completely blank.
Uf. like to trade uh, dark square bishops. Not even really that bad for me. Let's go here, actually. Ooh, wow, that was actually very smart by him. <laughs> I completely missed that. Oh, I have to. I don't even have d6. Damn, that was well played. Obviously, I'm never going to sit there and just make a draw, but uh, he still caught it kind of well. D5 was well met by just... Uh, I'm not even thinking. I'm speaking about last game and losing this one. Okay. Let's see if we can not lose. Hopefully, he takes... Kind of an annoying move. No, we actually don't have it that bad right now. Kind of a clever move. I think we should be doing all right here, though. Yep. I commute. I'm a commuter now. Fully fledged. Oh no, that was... I meant to cancel that. As soon as e5 gets played, I always stop pre-moving in the opening, but... <laughs> Obviously that didn't happen here. We just blundered knight d2.
Rook b3 should be played. Just gonna go c5. Jeez, this guy's starting to play better, and I'm starting to play uh, worse. It's definitely going to be sacking this exchange. Thank you for the raid, Yenner. Sar Charles, thanks for the 74 months. Wow, what a great resub from Glasses85. <laughs> Could never be more well-timed. Thank you, Glasses85. He knew. Long time ago, he made that username with a purpose. Thank you, Glasses85. Took me forever to find this move. Takes takes knight f8, you might try. So I pre move queen e6. Okay. 
very tempting to just take the two. Uh... Take the two bishops. Oh my god. <laughs> Did not see the knight guarded the pawn. Okay, GG's. We'll never, never make it uh, too much higher. Hello to Moistad. Time for Tim TV, says Realty. Will I be betting on Tim at 1600? You mean like if are you saying a race to 1600 or because I'll, I'll support Tim and Tim TV every time that's been a pattern so really it almost doesn't matter even what you're asking but I'm still curious Tim uh, Tim TV is a big show big show uh, maybe for a big platform like kick That's right, Realty. Things have uh, significantly changed, though. They really have. You know, three-minute Tim, he's shaking up the system. But me and my good friend Moistad always uh, go evens. I'm not trying to pinch pennies like uh, our dear friend Sam. <laughs> That's a good comment from Tim. What you're saying, Tim, is you're a disruptor. You're ready to disrupt the industry. <laughs> Thanks for the 68 months, mate in China. 
<laughs> Almost there, buddy. Almost. Thanks for the prime. How much wood? Thanks for the four month three sub. Jimster1234, thanks for the 40 tier 3. Rugs, 49. Appreciate that, Rugs, 64. Luther Bandos, gifting a, a sub as well. Yeah, first time made in China. I had to do it before we got to 69, obviously. Do I really have to wear glasses? Well, I mean, what does have to mean? I don't have to because I wasn't wearing them a few days ago. I don't think I was going to drop dead, but I can definitely see better with them on. But glasses were recommended to me a long time ago when I was much younger. And uh, <laughs> I, I always declined. I was like, no, you can't, uh, you can't sacrifice my entire childhood like that. Four eyes had a stronger connotation back then, all right? I've come to terms with it over the past two decades. Yeah, that's the thing, mate in China. If you just don't get them checked, you never know. I didn't know what the world could look like until I got glasses, you know? So I was like, whatever. I never thought twice about it. You're a dork, Moistad. I'm going to take that slander from you. The glasses make me look like a smart guy. See, that's what I'm going for. I have so many things that make me seem smart. I'm actually dumb as bricks. But the chess, the glasses, people are just convinced. That Hambo guy, nice. It's got to be something up there. There's no way he'd be good at chess and wear glasses if he wasn't smart. I've been doing that fret. After wearing them so much, when I go like this, first of all, it takes me a while to even like adjust. But yeah, I can, it's, it's very uncomfortable. I have to be like here to read the chat. Here it's like a little blurry, not gonna lie. So my normal vision is actually worse because I'm now getting used to Great vision with the glasses, so when I take them off, I'm like, huh? <laughs> I've been making up chat for the past years. <laughs> How do you, where do you think those comments about Holtzgern come from, Jake? JK Casey says, I'm on, uh, I've be, been really interested in a new pair of sunglasses for myself and my mother for Mother's Day. Do you know anywhere that maybe offers a discount on some great products that would also make a great gift? Well, Jake, um, exclamation mark Holtzgern always has you covered. We got a great deal with them right now. Nice promo code for you to use, Jake. I know you've been asking for a while. It feels like every day you come in the stream and type that same message. Yanner Chess, the raid, the 10 subs, we're spoiled here. Yanner, I think, knows that uh, Aryan may be imminent. You know? The countdown is on for Aryan. <laughs> hey, you really did, Jake and Bam. Thanks a lot, Yanner Chess. Now we really are spoiled. That's right. Don't support these guys. Can you see Aryan? Soon. Aryan is a kick exclusive, Yanner. Kick exclusive. He's already here at the end. That I can confirm. Indeed, Tim. Have to keep the uh, important stuff over there. Hello, Robert. Am I? I think I'll get back to it, Robert, uh, Mr. Oppenheimer. I'll get back to it, but 
yeah, with like moving and a lot of things like getting glasses, you know, your boy has been very busy. But I'll get back to it. It's the one thing uh, that I enjoy in terms of like uh, keeping a good lifestyle. So I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely get back to it. Oh, just out of the house there, Syrup. Yep, won't forget about it. Robert J. Oppenheimer. I haven't lost any interest in it. I've just been busier. I'm not sure, Walsmo. I'm giving it some time. Razzy 099 thanks for the 10 months with Prime. We'll see Queen's Gambit today. I've already played one. But yes, I'm sure we'll see more. Yanur Chess, another 10 subs. Thank you, Yanur. Yeah, no, I... I'm going to let Aryan know, Ralph. Um, he'll be a little disappointed, naturally. Aryan always tells me how disappointed he is, uh, you know, when, when he sees the subs come in on Twitch uh, instead of Kick. But I'll let him know that, uh, that we got some, some Twitch subs. It'll be tough to break the news to him, but I, I will share that with him. Yeah, as soon as Aryan came back from his trip to Cayman, he was... Immediately, he was, he was ma wondering whether or not we got... Uh, Five subs on, on kick. He's always checking and ensuring that the subs come in on kick. I mean, they are his favorite, after all. I feel like a guy who goes to Cayman, wins a tournament like that, you know, he should, get, he should get his favorite things when he comes home. He should. And, you know, his two favorite things, he's always told me, are subs delivered on the kick platform and Holtzker. You know, he's always he's always shared that with me. High quality stuff, Ralph. Did he share that with you as well, Tim? Perhaps it's time to uh, do one of Aryan's favorite things. Talk about our Holt Skern partnership here and how it may be the right time for you guys to make a nice purchase, perhaps for yourself or someone else, maybe for Aryan. Aryan just played a chess tournament, came first place. Maybe, maybe a gift for Aryan. You guys can get a Holtzgren product and, and ship it here for Aryan. That would be a great way to welcome him back to the country. We're just uh, talking about Holtzgren here, so we'll just... Uh, just make sure to put this in uh, a safe space mode. Yeah. No, we just uh, want to make sure. There we go. Yep, everyone feels comfortable here. Guys, hold skirt. Jake's been asking. One of Aryan's favorites. A Twitch exclusive here. Exclamation mark plebs. But most importantly, exclamation mark hold skirt. You feel safer? Tone, you know, uh, when you feel safe, that's a great time to make a purchase. You think you're into the hold skirt lady? <laughs> the one featured here? Here, let me uh, make sure you can uh, see her there, uh, Tim in Philly. Big shocker. Tim is interested in the hold skirt lady. Realty is interested in her jewelry. I'm not sure which piece that she has on there, but I see a nice necklace. You feel safer as well, Venus. Very, very nice, very nice. Guys, Holtzkern, we've been working with them for a long time. It's been a, 
been a lengthy partnership. Um, we've always said on the channel that the best ones are the ones that actually, you know, go longer than a month. I think we had such a successful initial campaign that we both wanted to renew again. And that's continued. Volskern, based in Austria. I know we have a few Austrian, not Australian, but Austrian viewers who've maybe seen the on-the-ground locations for Holtzgren. They do exist. Brick and mortar. But they also have an online store, worldwide shipping, free shipping. And you also get 15% off. As long as you use code CHESSBRA. Nice and easy to apply. Yeah, this does look like the CHESSBRA logo right here on the uh, Holtzgren lady. I can't lie. Intentional? I wonder. Washed Adult, thanks for the two years with Prime. Yeah, let's see if we can locate. Okay. We've got to locate the Holtzgren. Is it this one? Let's see. Let's play a game. Do you think we found it already? Is it that one? We've got to find all the products she's wearing. I think it's this one. Is that, <laughs> this looks kind of nice, to be honest. Yeah, I think it might be that. And then the necklaces. Looks like she's got one of these. It might even be this one. It looks like it could be a darker color. Stencil necklace. Yep. Stencil necklace. I think it could be this. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah, you agree, right? I think it's this one. Steal her look. Okay, let's add this to cart. Let's take these out. We can do a steal her look. Okay. Um, let's add the watch as well. Okay, and I think there's... There are some earrings there. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Can we tell which earrings those are? Okay, gold. Anyone got some ideas here? It looks like uh, it could be one of these. No, they have to hang. Maybe these? It could be something like this. But it's a circular hang. And it looks almost like a full circle, as opposed to a half circle. Could be something like this. Yeah, it looks a little bit more like that. It's not that. I think we're getting close with something like this. I think it might be that one. Let's see here. Is it this? Looks like there's a little design in the middle. Could be that. I'm trying to I'm trying to find the exact thing the model's wearing. Well, I got two guesses. I don't know about you guys. I think it could be that or
that. Those are my two best guesses. Could be these. So this one, this one, or the stencil once again. Stencil would be consistent for her look. Yeah, stencil is looking, it's looking very likely. Yeah, we're basically, I think I'm, I've got to go with this. All right, I'm adding that to the cart. Okay, so we've got the look here. Stencil earrings, the can we watch, the stencil necklace. This is to fully steal her look right here. Okay, then we make sure to go here. You guys can't even see. Let me make sure to show you here. Here we go. At the bottom, view and edit shopping cart. Okay, it should maybe already be applied, but I'll show you guys how to do it. Yep, so we already got the chest broad discount there, but as always, I'll just make sure you guys know how to, how to use it. The nice thing is that by clicking that view and edit cart, you can make sure to check that the discount works for you before you get to the checkout. I always find that annoying. Like, I don't know, maybe you have a code you want to use and you have to do all the shopping selection, put everything in the cart, like sometimes even enter your full, your full information and then get to the final screen and then add the discount code. And it's like, it's like, it's a lot of work just to make sure it works. Um, but the nice thing is you can just apply it here anytime just to check. So code chess bra. Get that added. You see the nice discount there. So exclamation mark Holtzgren code Chespra. You can see it's reflected there. Worldwide shipping and most importantly, free shipping. You can steal her look for three hundred dollars. Very nice. That's three different items. Watch, earrings, necklace. Beautiful. Beautiful. But we've been working with Holtzgren. I hope you guys would consider they come with these uh these great they come in these great boxes and someone was even asking like yeah man i really i really like the uh I really like the boxes actually am i able to just get the box the answer is yes obviously we got you covered but they come in these great wooden boxes with like a cork pillow interior and if you're ever getting an item like a necklace, bracelet, watch, whatever, and you're worried about the fit, every single product comes with the uh, tools and instructions on how to either lengthen or shorten the uh, bracelet size, the necklace size, the, um, the watch as well. So that's pretty nice. You never have to worry about the fit or the sizing. That's hold skirt. You can steal her look. As we talked about, for 300 bucks, not bad at all. Some nice products here for the ladies as well as the gentlemen in chat. Mom will love it. It makes a great gift. So even if you're just kind of craving uh, an item yourself, it'll, ha it'll make a, a nice presentation. So check out Holdskern. Even if you guys just browse around, I know... Uh, We've had a few people in the community grab, grab some uh, products before, and I've shown off so many on stream. But that was fun. We, uh, we found her entire look there. You guys were talking about the Holtzkern lady, so hey. We had to do some research. We found it all. Once again, guys, code Chespra, 15% off. Free worldwide shipping. And our link is in the chat with exclamation mark Holtzgren, so you can browse around. I know the, uh, yeah, Aryan had the <laughs> very nice, I think they were literally called the badass. Badass one and badass two. The sunglasses, they looked very, very sharp on him. Did not look as sharp on myself and Eric. 
but I think that was a cause of the model rather than the product. So we're going to move over to our kick channel. There will be an Aryan appearance. I can't say for sure whether it will be in the Holtzker and Badass sunglasses. Can't confirm or deny. But we're going to move to our kick channel. That's where we're going to be streaming for the rest of the day. Aryan appearances. Perhaps even the esteemed Tim TV, a kick special. But join us for the rest of the night. It's not, not going to be a short day at all. I have a, a group lesson to teach in an hour and a half. So I'll be taking a, a break from stream to, to do that, and Aryan will be joining. Well, depending on guys like Tim Moistad, it could happen imminently. Maybe a nice little Tim Power Hour. Exclamation mark kick. All right, kick.com slash chest bra. Robert J. Appenheimer, thank you for the bits. Can't speak on the tattoo, but someone did get a chest bra tattoo before, and the rating went up. That's all I can say. Thanks for the 420 bits. 100 bits from Tim in Philly. We'll see all the Tims on kick. Before Pacers Power Hour. Okay. It could work. Moista, Tim. Let's. Vamanos. I'll see you guys on kick. Thanks for watching. More stream and more Aryan very soon.